Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. How y'all doing? Today, we're going to have another product testing Wednesday. I can't call them Tuesday because we don't do these videos on Tuesday. Product testing Wednesday. Let's jump into it. tutorial not a tutorial type of video well, we're gonna do another product testing today and today we are trying out an alternative to the design master spray um, there is a previous video I'll try to remember to link it but we use the design master spray in particular to help those little tricky flowers that like to uncurl when they get wet if it's happened to you, you know what I'm talking about if you haven't yet I'm so happy for you but it happens on occasion especially uh, specific style flowers that we've come to kind of find out. And there's tips and tricks throughout the way to try to help alleviate that. And that's where the Design Master Spray came in. But um, thanks to the world we live in at the moment of this filming, lots of things are going in and out of availability and the Design Master Spray happens to be one of those. So today, the longest intro ever, we're gonna try an alternative. So let's jump into it. longest intro ever. I'm so sorry. So, um, did it get your attention? What, what, um, what product are we going to test today? We are going to test Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Nobody says it right. Fight me. I don't believe you if you say you say it right. Nobody says it right. It's all right though. It's lovely. We use this. I use this all the time for everything. Um, but I've never actually used the spray. Believe it or not, I've always just used the, the glue stuff. So we're gonna try this as a, um, a sealant to go over the flowers to protect them from uncurling. We'll then dip dye them and see how it does compared to the Design Master, which we know works very well. Um, this was actually recommended by one of our team members. She tried it, it worked well for her. So now I'm gonna try it and we'll see if it actually works. I'm using the matte. I believe there's also glossy. I don't know if it matters, but I'm gonna stick with the matte. And then of course, these are our lucky particip participants of this test. Sweetheart, Rosa, Cornelia, Blanche, and a pink. So for this, just like we did with the Design Master, shake her up. And I'm going to fairly saturate it so that we get a good amount of contact. So we'll probably let it dry for most of this day, maybe 24 hours, or I'll just paint the flowers later today in the late afternoon. So we'll give it about you know four to five hours to dry. Design master smells nicer. <laughs> all right, we'll do it with all of them. What we're really concerned about though is making sure that those petals don't uncurl too much. So I'm gonna also go on the under side. We'll see what happens. It looks like they're uncurling slightly from the saturation, but not terribly. Now I am gonna let these sit and dry. Uh, it again said 15 minutes between coats. I'm not gonna put an additional coat on them. We're gonna let them sit till they fully dry to the touch. Then I will dip dye them and we'll see what happens. Um, the other thing to note is from what um, our team member had relayed to me is that 
It does get the flowers a little bit more crunchy. Um, so we're definitely gonna be adding glycerin into our paint mixture. And there's a chance we might have to do another water glycerin like spritz at the end so that the flowers still stay soft. Um, the peony in particular, as we're talking, some of the outside petals are kind of opening up a little bit. Nothing too, too worrisome at all. Um, these two in particular are Lux flowers. The Lux flowers in particular, the solo wood is a little bit different than the rest of our flowers. And these Lux flowers um, are probably known the most for um, having to be hand painted or airbrushed because of the fact that the petals start to open up and um, lose their shape. So this is a good alternative if you did not want to have to um, airbrush or hand paint the flowers. Um, but there is gonna be some shaping that's happened or like um, changing of the, the shape slightly, but nothing, nothing that really changes the overall appearance of the flowers. So um, I'm optimistic that this is gonna work and we'll come back in just a little bit. We're back 24 hours later almost on the nose, we're back with our solo flowers that had Mod Podge put over them. Uh, I'm gonna grab the camera real quick and I'm gonna show you the colors that we're gonna work with. This time around, I am using latex paint. Uh, I would say 95% of the tutorials that we do, I always use craft acrylic paint just because it's there. So I use that for most of my dyeing, but you can use uh, latex paint I'm using little sample pots. Super simple, exact same method as craft acrylic paint. I usually do a one-to-one -one ratio of water to paint. I did add glycerin into this as well because of the fact that this is, they're definitely crunchy now. I can feel it like I don't wanna push on them too much because they're a little, they're a little crunchy. All right, let me bring you guys down. I'll show you the paint colors and then we'll get onto the, the testing the results. Oh, I'm nervous, you guys, I'm nervous. I completely did not realize as I was filming this part of the tutorial that uh, my camera is capable of turning off the microphone. So there's no sound for this particular part of this tutorial. So basically, let me just break it down for you. I am dip dyeing the different style flowers. We are using again latex paint, water, and glycerin. It is six parts of the paint and water mixture, one part glycerin. Um, so a little bit more glycerin than I normally use when I'm dip dyeing because of the fact that the flowers are a little bit more crunchy thanks to the Mod Podge spray. Then what I'm doing is I'm just letting them sit to dry in an egg carton. I am purposely setting them upright because that tends to, um, if the petals are going to uncurl, it will happen when they're sitting upright. When we put them upside down, that helps kind of keep the shape of the curl. So I wanted to give it the best case scenario as far as, is this gonna work without any additional help? And well, we'll have to wait till the end to see. But so far, I'm very excited about how well things were going. So yeah, we'll just pop in some music now and I will finish dip dyeing all of these. I am so embarrassed by this uh, little hiccup, but uh, made for a lot of good laughing. Not crying, no, no, I would, why would I ever cry over something <laughs> like this? All right, back to the dyeing, shall we? Thank you. 
All right, y'all, we are back with the results. Fingers crossed I've had a lot of technical issues the last couple of days, so hopefully, hopefully we can get this wrapped up, shall we? You guys, this worked so well. I'm just gonna cut straight to the point. <laughs> it just works really well, it does. Um, it's a great alternative for the Design Master, so either one, I would recommend them equally across the board. Now, I mentioned it, I believe, during the dyeing of the flowers, and I'll mention it again here. I did use a little bit more glycerin in my mixture than what I normally do if I'm not using some sort of sealant on top of the flowers that um, makes them already crispy, crunchy, crispy. I don't know if I've ever called it crispy. Same thing, you know what, you'll know that feeling when you feel it. Um, so I did add a little bit more glycerin than I normally do. So it broke down to about, and again, this is just eyeballing it, but it was about one part glycerin to six parts of the paint and water mixture. So a little bit more than what I normally do, which is a one to eight ratio. All right, enough of me like chatting about all of that. We will talk about one um, con, if you will, about the Mod Podge versus the Design Master, but it's a pretty minimal con. So. They're just, they're perfect. They worked really, really, really well. So there was Cornelia. Here is Rosa. It's perfect. We have the lovely Blanche. This one is usually pretty tricky when it comes to the uncurling. Perfect. I can't remember if this is Isadora or Sweetheart, but whatever its name, it held up really, really, really well. And then the Peony, now, you guys, I made a boo-boo. This is one of those things when you are, if you choose to dye, or excuse me, dry your flowers on a egg carton cardboard type thing, you wanna move the flowers, probably I would say within like the first half an hour or so, to make sure that they're not sticking. Don't, don't let them sit the entire time, or they will stick to your cardboard, or if you're using puppy pads or something, they may stick, and then you're going to essentially have to rip part of that off. I might have done that with this peony. You guys, I'm telling you, it was a week, but it doesn't matter, look how pretty that is. The part that I ripped is on the bottom and it'll get hidden in a piece, so it's fine. I'm okay with it. Not ideal, but not the worst thing that could happen either. So, there we go. The only thing that happened with this one that did not happen with the rest is the outside petals did open up a little bit with the amount of like pressure almost of the paint and water and everything, it opened them up, but everything else, I'm not mad about this in any way whatsoever. So it worked out so dang well. Now I did say there was a con and there is one and it probably is not that big of a deal, but it is a little smelly. I am working on this in the middle of winter in Wisconsin. I did not have a well ventilated area. My dad is gonna yell at me when he sees this, but I did not. I definitely recommend having it in a ventilated area. Um, so this isn't maybe the most ideal if you live in the frozen tundra. You, you may not wanna use it during the winter months, but it's great during the spring, summer, and fall, um, and hold off on any kind of uncurling flowers in the winter. It's really up to you, um, but I definitely could smell it for at least 24 hours. It was very strong and it's not a, it's not as a nice of a smell as the Design Master, but of all of the complaints I could have, it's probably the smallest thing you could possibly complain about this because you already know you're supposed to do it in a well ventilated area. So there is that. Otherwise it turned out perfect. I love this. I love this Will It Work Wednesday. It did. It worked really, really well. Um, it's a great alternative and I think I'll probably use that over the Design Master uh, most of the time. Except for in the winter. I'll use the Design Master in the winter because it smells great and I can, yeah. All right, sorry, I'm rambling. Let's, let's jump to it. Do you love these videos? Can't get enough? Wanna know when the next one goes live? We'd love to have you. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much. But yeah, subscribe and ring that bell to be updated whenever a video goes live. To find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com. But before you run away, hold up, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. I think that's it, y'all. Thank you so much. We'll see, see you right here next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.